And in the center is R. Searsha coming to dispute the lead now with Mystical Affair. Captain Power pulled to the outside, coming there strongly. Then Eckhorn and Forza Lebrano over on the far side is Apra Baird and Piper Bomb. Captain Power on the near side of R. Searsha and Mystical Affair as they race into the closing stages. And it's Captain Power and Connor Hoban with the advantage as they run to the finish. And the first favorite goes in. Captain Power, judge second, Apra Baird and R. Searsha. And from a long way back, Arcaneco for fourth. And in the centre is R. Searsha coming to dispute the lead now with Mystical Affair. Captain Power pulled to the outside, coming there strongly. Then Eckhorn and Forza Lebrano over on the far side is Apra Baird and Piper Bomb. Captain Power on the near side of R. Searsha and Mystical Affair as they race into the closing stages. And it's Captain Power and Connor Hoban with the advantage as they run to the finish. And the first favourite goes in. Captain Power, judge second, Apra Baird and R. Searsha. And from a long way back, Arcaneco for fourth. So with two and a half to go, it's Dottie Valens in the green and white, alongside the grey, she's my dream, followed by Esprit d'Escalier, the yellow cap of Jirocco getting into gear on the outside, far side is Imposing Supreme with Commodus, and then comes Bo Warrior, racing towards the last furlong, Imposing Supreme with She's My Dream. Bo Warrior, Ole Parr is looking for the split. Doddy Valens and Jirocco as they run up towards the finish. Bo Warrior on the far side has it. Bo Warrior wins. Judge again for second and third. Imposing Supreme and She's My Dream. No run for Ole Parr who was close in behind with Commodus and Doddy Valens. So with two and a half to go, it's Dottie Valens in the green and white, alongside the grey, she's my dream, followed by Esprit d'Escalier, the yellow cap of Jirocco getting into gear on the outside, far side is Imposing Supreme with Commodus, and then comes Bo Warrior, racing towards the last furlong, Imposing Supreme with Chase My Dream, Bo Warrior, Ole Parr is looking for the split, Doddy Valens and Jirocco as they run up towards the finish, Bo Warrior on the far side has it, Bo Warrior wins, judge again for second and third, imposing supreme, and She's My Dream, no run for Ole Parr who was close in behind with Commodus and Doddy Valens. Behind these is Libras Parr and Jared Maddox, but with a furlong and a half to go, it's Vagar out in front of Royal Court. Lottie Loveheart is next, with Jungle Jungle, and down the outside is Jared Maddox, but it's Vagar in the lead with 150 yards left to go. It's Vagar, and top apprentice Shane Cross will win it for Joseph O'Brien and Joseph's sister Sarah. Second is Royal Court, a 1-2 for the trainer. Back in third, Lottie Loveheart and Jared Maddox, and in between horses, Libras Parr. Behind these is Libras Parr and Jared Maddox, but with a furlong and a half to go, it's Vagar out in front of Royal Court. Lottie Loveheart is next, with Jungle Jungle, and down the outside is Jared Maddox, but it's Vagar in the lead with 150 yards left to go. It's Vagar, and top apprentice Shane Cross will win it for Joseph O'Brien and Joseph's sister Sarah. Second is Royal Court, a 1-2 for the trainer. Back in third, Lottie Loveheart and Jared Maddox, and in between horses, Libras Power. And it's Arborfield, the leader from Confrontational, who's picked up the chase. Then Ducky Mallon in the middle of the track is Nam with Descendant Waitaki from the back. And weakening is any fear. Arborfield chased by Confrontational. The grey Ducky Mallon on the outside. The far side is Descendant. And then Waitaki and Nam with Masalu Brenze. And up towards the finish is Confrontational getting up in the centre. Confrontational for Shane Foley and John Murphy. Again a winning partnership. Descendant, early leader Arborfield with Ducky Ducky Mallon and Waitaki. And it's Arborfield, the leader from Confrontational, who's picked up the chase. Then Ducky Mallon in the middle of the track is Nam with Descendant Waitaki from the back. And weakening is any fear. Arborfield chased by Confrontational. The grey Ducky Mallon on the outside. The far side is Descendant. And then Waitaki and Nam with Masalu Brenze. And up towards the finish is Confrontational getting up in the centre. Confrontational for Shane Foley and John Murphy. Again a winning partnership. Descendant, early leader Arborfield with Ducky Mallon and Waitaki.
Cody X back Voyage of Discovery is looking for Racing Room has just got it racing now to the final furlong Luna Star taken on by Voyage of Discovery Dolly Levi the rail and then K Luz and Cody X back in Voyage of Discovery and Tom Madden have pounced to race on clear Voyage of Discovery from Luna Star K Luz Ken Ward Dolly Levi and Cody X back and they drew away from the remainder Cody X back Voyage of Discovery is looking for Racing Room has just got it racing now to the final furlong Luna Star taken on by Voyage of Discovery Dolly Levi the rail and then K Luz and Cody X back in Voyage of Discovery and Tom Madden have pounced to race on clear Voyage of Discovery from Luna Star K Luz Ken Ward Dolly Levi and Cody X back and they drew away from the remainder Racing inside the two, and it's little Camacho Lapid is coming out of the bunch to give chase. Then No Way Jack Dream Sleep over on the far side with Villa Maria. Racing towards the final furlong, little Camacho Dream Sleep, the far side in between horses as they run to the finish. Is Lapid as they go up towards the line, and Dream Sleep on the far side has come to conquer little Camacho, then Lapid, and No Way Jack Avalanche, Longwood, and Villa Maria. Racing inside the two, and it's little Camacho Lapid is coming out of the bunch to give chase. Then No Way Jack Dream Sleep over on the far side with Villa Maria. Racing towards the final furlong, little Camacho Dream Sleep the far side in between horses as they run to the finish. Is Lapid as they go up towards the line, and Dream Sleep on the far side has come to conquer little Camacho, then Lapid, and No Way Jack Avalanche, Longwood, and Villa Maria. It's Sleepyhead in front, being followed by Al Warda and cutting through the field. Lady Deveshi and Extreme Stand side is too precious. It's quickly changing and too precious on the near side of Lady Deveshi. Al Warda is battling back and then Sleepyhead and it's too precious who's come from a good bit back under Shane Cross for Joseph O'Brien. It's a double under the lights for them. Second is Lady Deveshi, then Al Warda with Manorov running on into fourth place. It's Sleepyhead in front, being followed by Al Warda and cutting through the field. Lady Deveshi and Extreme Stand side is too precious. It's quickly changing and too precious on the near side of Lady Deveshi. Al Warda is battling back and then Sleepyhead. And it's too precious who's come from a good bit back under Shane Cross for Joseph O'Brien. It's a double under the lights for them. Second is Lady Deveshi, then Al Warda with Manorov running on into fourth place. On the right hand side is Shadow 7 with Night Drive and then comes Misty Dawn as Crossing Oz has gone for home. Followed by Rise Again, Broco Pondo, Shadow 7. Down the outside is Cork Harbour but it's Crossing Oz the leader by over three lengths. Broco Pondo is closing but too late. Crossing Oz wins from Broco Pondo. Shadow 7 probably has taken the third from Paddy the Irishman and then after those was Rise Again, Night Drive. Cork Harbour and Tehan. Double for Conor Hoban. On the right hand side is Shadow 7 with Night Drive and then comes Misty Dawn as Crossing Oz has gone for home. Followed by Rise Again, Broco Pondo, Shadow 7. Down the outside is Cork Harbour but it's Crossing Oz the leader by over three lengths. Broco Pondo is closing but too late. Crossing Oz wins from Broco Pondo. Shadow 7 probably has taken the third from Paddy the Irishman and then after those was Rise Again, Night Drive. Cork Harbour and Tehan, double for Conor Hoban.